bamboo skateboards have been around for a very long time. I tried one back in like 2005 or something like that, but recently I've been noticing them coming back around a little bit. And I think it's because longboarding is growing in popularity and bamboo actually works really well for longboards. It doesn't work so well for shortboards or skateboards as they're actually known. <laughs> but anyways, they're called skateboards. Um, yeah, I tried one, and it just, it, well actually I tried a couple, they, they really just didn't work out for me at all. And uh, later on down the line I talked to somebody that actually tests skateboards by dropping weights on them. And uh, what they found through their research, which was very scientifical and whatnot, was uh, when you have to glue things together, they're held together by glue and not the wood that they're made of. Which means they break, because those are breaking points. Okay. With maple boards, you have veneers, and they're pretty uniform, and they stack on top of each other, and there's no stress cracks running up or down them or diagonally or anything like that. With bamboo, it's a whole different process. There's a lot of places the boards can break, they get weak, they get brittle, and they just they snap. Okay, And are they more earth and environmentally friendly? Yes, they are. They are much more sustainable. But the problem with that is that they aren't any cheaper. Companies are still charging full price for a bamboo deck, even though it's significantly cheaper for them to, to make them. So, if I could get a bamboo deck for 20 bucks, would I skate bamboo boards? Probably. I'd be switching out boards a lot more frequently, but it would be a lot more environmentally friendly, and that makes me a little bit more drawn to it. But I don't... I don't think they're a replacement for maple in any way, shape, or form. And maybe you've had different experiences with it. Maybe things have changed since 2005. That was a decade ago, you know? Things might have changed. They might be using better glue. They might be using a whole different process by this point. But back when I tried one, they were terrible. And I'd love to discuss it with you guys because I have a feeling a lot of you guys have already checked them out too. And uh, I want to hear what your experiences with them were because the people that seem to support them are the people that are a part of the company. And, uh, you know, if I'm trying to sell something, I'm going to tell you it's probably the best thing ever, too. Which is why I don't try to sell you guys things, I just share cool things with you. But anyways. What do you guys think? What do you think about bamboo versus maple? And it's, this really is not a new topic of conversation. I think I might have actually done a video on it before. Can't be 100% sure because maple is the way to go. Bamboo doesn't really impress me. And... I won't lie, I didn't do a whole lot of extra research on this. I don't know what's going on with the bamboo market these days, but I have a feeling it's really popular right now because longboarding is really popular right now, and that's about it. Not because they're any better. 